All right, this is the Bur Oak model STCO M5 straightener cutoff. Serial number STCO5 M5 1582684. All right, I'm going to follow you around. You yeah. Just take oh, us through it. Front, yeah, back to the front. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just we don't have any die rolls in here now, but we just kind of show up. Clips are all on there. Everything's good to go. We just kind of leave these like they are. The other horizontal rollers, and for the sake of us uh, demoing it today, I've got all the switches kind of backed off, so we're out of stock switches backed off. I've got flow controls dialed down. This is our feed flow controls here. This is our clamp mechanism here and regulator. I've got everything just softened so it all moves kind of nice and slow for our demo today. So that's the whole air package, and uh, this is the hold and pull clamp assembly for all the way in back with the regulator. So everything's got a regulator, everything's got a flow control valve. And uh, this is the flow control for the uh, cutter speed, in fact, cutter feed, I'm sorry. So I can just slow that down real fast. I've got it going in nice and easy. So everything's in kind of slow motion. All the switches are tricked out. We can leave the covers off. Uh, power's on right now. This is the main cabinet. We're currently configured for 480 volts electrical drawings here and uh, everything's working topside and so far as controls are concerned we're currently on right now and our batch counter is at zero and the main ones are of course batch counter and feeds per piece I've got it on single feed right now I can change that which is number five one one feed per piece again our batch counter was at zero we haven't started yet and uh, batch set point, so it's number four. I've got it set for 20 pieces. So we'll run out the 20 and uh, go from there. And maybe I'll make a few quick changes on the display here and do another run of maybe 10 pieces. So that's that there. Before I turn the motor on, maybe just to get a look in here, we could pull the cover yeah, off. Yeah, let's take that off. How's that work? Yeah, let's pull this up maybe. I can run the, we're not running any tubing through here, so we can kind of show that. And we can let this thing fly. I guess like we're not doing much with this. That's going to take off. And our feed is right here, of course. And I can turn all this off and on. So right now, I'm just going to hit start main motor right here. And that's going to take off. Turns on the air, of course. And we've got three main controls on hand, which is here. One is cut off. Just cut off. Which is the same thing it does in auto cycle. Then extend pull part is right here. This is all for setup. And the last item is to bring the feed carriage in. Feed forward. And it stays there as so I go back. And we're ready to go. Again. And that's it. So now I'm just going to flip over to auto, hit cycle start, and it'll start counting. You come in here, watch batch set point. Uh, not put it on counter, batch counter. And we just did one, see? And that was it. I think it should be counting. So I'm going to start and kind of fade it. Now we got time. It, it takes a few minutes. So and here we go with cycle start. Uh, yeah, I think we got everything straight. Yeah, we're all set. I think. Oh, I'll cover it auto. That would help. Auto. And this is just feeding in and out. Without that on yet. And midstream, I'll just put it on. Turn the pull part on. That changes the timing and the micro switch what it's doing, but that can all be set up. And right, if I turn off pull part again, it gives me more time to play with the feed. I'll kind of watch the speed. I'll go real slow with it. Just move this down slow. Okay. That's 
really slow. That we didn't make it that far. Speed that up a little bit. There we go, that's faster. Back in the auto. That's about right, right about there. Yep, that's good. And our batch counter is at 16, right here. Three more pieces, this will all shut off. 18. Yeah, so now, just to change that off real fast, we can change feeds per piece. That's one feed. Let's go to number five here. One feed per piece. Let's go to two feeds per piece. So just go preset. And then... And we'll get back to feed per piece. There it is. Make that a two, maybe? I didn't, it didn't take the preset. Hang on a second. So let's try that again. Feeds per piece. Preset. Let that get in there. There it is. Now we should get a two. There's our two. Enter. So now we're going to feed twice. And we'll, we'll drop off our batch counter from where will we set that again? Whoop, we don't want to leave that. Let's leave that alone. And batch counter, no, we would batch set point. Next one, feed counter, batch set point from 20. Maybe we could just make that a short run, like 10. One, zero, enter. There we go. So that's done there. Now we can get out of that and go back to our batch counter, which starts at zero. Now we're going to feed out twice per part. And it only count one. No feed, okay. Now we go in. That was one part. Double feed. And back in. And now we'll just count to ten doing this. Put the puller back on. doesn't know that it's feeding twice. I'm just, we're just playing around with everything here. We're up to five on the batch counter. Four more parts. Pull her off for the last two. That long feed again. One more part. Off at 10, we set it back to zero on the batch counter. And it's easy enough. I wanted to start right back up right now. I really could. And if you start, and I'll do like one piece. And we haven't even done the one yet. Now there's one. And if it's halfway in, I'm gonna hit cycle stop, which is right there. It just goes back. We change the count, which is good. Make whatever changes you want. You pick it right back up again with cycle starts, and it just continues counting. And we go right back up to the two again. And then halfway through the cycle, cycle stop at two. We can leave it right there. We're good to go. Motor off. And you see the bearing on this. This one's really good. Watch this. That'll go for about a minute or two. So it, it's just up wherever we had it. Uh, got that thing looped up pretty good. So. on that, Pete. Very good. Yep. So if we do a stack of documentation with the skid of tooling. Right, that's all back there, of yeah. course. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got all that, too. Yep. Yeah. But from an operational standpoint, no. it looks pretty, great. Pretty nice good, job. Yeah. I just nice can't job. Clean, I just can't simulate clamping everything, but uh, we got no tubing in there. <laughs>